guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by hope you like something find something that you like here um and yeah hope you learn something that you can take back to your own business or whatever so today i'm coming to you with a how-to video well a how i video it's not necessarily a how-to because i can't tell you what to do but it's definitely gonna be a how I video. It's uh, basically how I wrap my um, sublimation tumblers. How I go, um, show how I wrap them. How I do my seams. Um, I'm not perfect at it yet, but the technique that I use can give you perfection if you get it right. Um, I know what my flaws are, and. Uh, for some reason, I just can't get over them right now. Like, sometimes I succeed, and sometimes I don't. It's really a trial and error for me. And But, yeah, um, so if you see something that you like and you can take away and you can perfect to, for yourself, and by all means, do it. Um, but, yeah, I am going to be making a sublimation tumbler for one of um, my customers. And I just decided, why not share it, you know? So, yeah. Sit back, relax, and let's get into this tumbler. <clears throat> okay, so I've already printed, designed, and printed out my tumbler. So this is what it's going to look like. It says, peace, love, gators, win or lose, chomp, chomp. And then it has the person's name going down the side. Um, yeah. As you can see, like right now, when you print out, if you know sublimation in your, um, and that's what you do, you know, <coughs> excuse me, I got a cough, but you know, it's going to print kind of ashy, um, with sublimation, if that's how you know if you got the right paper or not, because your, your print is going to print out the printer ashy. So, I have right here, if you can see it, I don't know if you can, like, I know you can't actually see the printer, but. I have the SG400, um, that's the Sawgrass 400, it's the printer that I have, um, do I recommend getting it, if you can go bigger, go bigger, if you can't, and that's all you can afford, do that, um, I'll get into, I'll do a video on printers later, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do, cause the Sawgrass 400 is all that I've ever owned as far as sublimation, but there's a reason for that. Um, but I'll get into that in another video. Um, but today, I wish I could stop saying, um, I don't know what's up with that. But, um, and but. <laughs> but yeah, so it's gonna print out kind of ashy. But once you put it on your substrate or whatever it is that you're supplementing on, that's when your colors will pop if you get it correctly. My colors, they usually pop if I get my heat and pressure and time correct that's when anybody don't let them folks fool you on youtube and instagram and facebook out of my facebook um groups don't let them people fool you them people have done trial and error and stuck to what they know once you find a technique and once you get it right the first time Stick to that. Don't be keep switching it up or changing it around. Change around the things that you need to tweak. Once you figure out what it is that you need to tweak, stick to it and change that only. Don't change your whole technique trying to find different techniques and do all this because your one thing, it didn't come out right one time. But that one time that you got it right, you know that's for you. Um, I don't care what they tell you. Don't let these people trick you out these streets, okay? I know my issue with my tumblers is um sometimes my seam isn't all the way right and the top i get ghosting at the very top and at the bottom um luckily most of my stuff at the bottom is like right where the tumbler ends so it's like okay whatever but majority of the time my um my actual the actual tumbler part is is good um, I wish I had one to show y'all, but I don't, uh, I usually don't make them unless I'm selling them. So, yeah, 
but this is this is how the tumbler comes in a box usually sometimes they do have some vendors that will just send you the tumbler you have to find your own boxes but if you get them in a box i get mine from from china <laughs> from a vendor my vendor um who's pretty cool but yeah so this is a 20 ounce tumbler it is straight um i found i had the temp the tempered tumblers before and i found that i don't really like those so i tried now because this is my second batch of tumblers that i've ordered the first batch i ordered were, were tempered and the second batch i ordered was straight i found out that they were straight and i love straight tumblers that's the only tumbler that i'll be working with from now on so i have the 20 ounce i have the 30 ounce and then i have the fatty tumblers i have not worked with the fatty tumblers yet um but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm not i don't think i am i'm gonna try those out and i'm actually gonna record myself trying those out i just gotta get out of my get out of myself but i'm gonna try those out um the 30 ounce i haven't figured out how to design those yet but i do have them in stock if you want to buy them and get them off of me so that i don't have to figure that out you definitely can um dm me uh what's my dm it was my you can DM me on Instagram or you can comment down below with your Instagram and let me know and we can talk about that. Um and I can get them to you. But yeah, what was I saying? But yeah, these are the this is twenty ounce straight tumbler. That is why my image is printed straight in a box or a rectangle. Um yeah, so I'm gonna be using this twenty ounce tumbler. Let me see if I can position out the house so y'all can see my heat tape i do get the thicker one i like working with the thicker one when i go to wrap so i'm going to wrap this around the tumbler um i used to use this size which is uh and go around but it come on now it was like common sense to me a lot of people don't use this they use masking tape but i found that i like using heat tape and but like i said i used to use this size and just go out around, around the tape around the cup but I stopped and started using this because it's more time consuming, it's more efficient. Let me use my code, my correct language verbiage. It was more efficient to just use the thicker tape. Excuse my shirt, y'all. Shirt chat. But um, yeah, so I use this tape to do my seam. Once you guys see, you'll see what I'm talking about. I have my scissors and my image that you can't see but in my image so i am gonna go ahead and turn on my toaster i have the black and decker toaster oven um i'm gonna try to get an image of the toaster for you guys i just don't want to take this uh i don't want to take my phone off this tripod it's because yeah once i get ready to put the tumbler in i'll show y'all the I'll show y'all the printer, and I'll go ahead and show you the toaster, too. So, yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> so, first thing first, I already took the little a sticker, or a silver sticker comes on the bottom of them. <laughs> I took it off, and I stuck it in the tape. So, yeah, this sticker goes on the bottom. I took that off, and I take off my top. And with my image, I am going to, oh, and the, Tumblr also comes in a plastic bag, but with my image, I want to cut off the white perimeter. I want to cut off all the white. Now, with sublimation, um, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Just be aware that it does not. If you get the Sawgrass printer, I ain't even say just Sawgrass printer. Most sublimation printers do not print white. Um, there's no white toner for sublimation unless you get the uh, a printer that has that option and then you find that ink which is not easy to find so good luck with that but if you print so if you print on white if you print white if your design has white in it just be advised that whatever you're substrating on if it's not white which most times it should be white if you're sublimating your what you're sublimating on should be white. 
something but if it's not for whatever reason just know that your the white in your image is going to show up whatever color your substrate is it's going to show up that color it's not going to be white because again sublimation does not print white so my image does have, have white in it because i am sublimating on a white tumbler and so therefore my white is going to show white good because as you can see it's a gators cup and gators definitely have white in their logo so yeah um i get my heat tape majority of my um sublimation supplies comes from amazon i think i ordered that toaster maybe two years ago if that it had to be like two years since i've been in this place almost a year so yeah i would say about two years um at least at most two years at least a year and a half um i don't remember how much i paid for it i want to say it might have been like between 20 and 30 dollars um might have been more but i got it from amazon but you can get your toaster you can get a toaster from anywhere um i wanted the one i wanted my toaster oven to have a timer on it even though i don't use the timer i thought i would use the timer but i don't um I tried that once and it didn't go too well for me, so I don't use the timer. But some people do. Um, a lot of people got the toaster with the double doors. I wanted that toaster, but I didn't have the space at the time. I hate them scissors, but they're so great. They're so sharp. I love these scissors. They're from Bobby Lobby. If you ever used to, I know the old school, I got these scissors from Bobby Lobby. They were on sale. But they used to use these scissors. They use these scissors for fabric cutting, and they are so sharp. They um, I love these scissors. They cut everything for me. Um, but I try not to cut everything with them because I don't want them to get dull. So yeah. But as I was saying, um, some people use the double door um toaster oven because it you can stand your tumbler up, stand it up, and let it uh sublimate that way. I got the shorter one, so I just lay it down and let it do what it do. Um, yeah, so then I take my image. I'm gonna put this on down here. Oh, you can see the printer like that. I keep it on because I say you should keep it on so that the ink can, you know, shift around or whatever. Um, I think that's what they say. I'm not sure. I forgot, but I leave it plugged up either way. But this is the Sawgrass 400. It's the smaller Sawgrass. I don't even think they sell it anymore. I think they only sell the 8. Either 6 or 8. But I got it from... Um, where did I get this part from? Was it Heat Press Nation? It might have been Heat Press Nation. It might not have been. I don't remember. No. I did not get it from Heat Press Nation. I got it from Sawgrass. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So it looks like... My image is bigger than what I was supposed to, what it's supposed to be. It definitely is, which I hate. Because <laughs> now I have to reprint it, but it just gives me a chance to show you guys how to do that. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how it's bigger than what it's supposed to be. So if you look, that's no, no. You do not want your want this to happen. Now, what I could do is just cut, cut this, cut the B, and so that the B because it's just the B really, just this. Cut this off, and then the top of that B, and it'll be, and it'll be okay. But no, I did that once, and. That shit looked horrible. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just go ahead on and throw this away and start over. Throw it away and start over, okay? Um. Yeah. So 
what I want to do is, and I kind of knew it was off because this is it's supposed to be way more white than this stuff though. So yeah, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to pause this video, go over there to my handy dandy workstation, and reprint out this goddamn um, image because this is too big. Which I know it was. I should have known it was. But yeah, so give me a second. I'll be back. I got a new image, y'all. So I changed the width and I changed the um I changed the width and I changed the height a little bit too. I did go ahead and measure the actual cup because I wanted to try something else. I think I can get rid of my ghosting if I line up my um, image to be exactly the length of the cup. That can get rid of like my top and bottom ghosting. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Let's see how that works. I'm going to try it out on camera. I ain't even going to try. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to see how that work out for me. Um, I did not get that off of nobody's suggestion post or anything. That just came to me. Came to me while I was over there. Um, resizing the length of it. Of the image. It was just like. Something came to me and said just change the width too. And see where that takes you. As far as the ghosting on the bottom, top and the bottom. Some people like to add that. Um. I used to keep it on there because people like it's better if you look like the image is like sliding off the cup instead of just cutting it off. Um, it looks better that way, but and some people are able to like fold it over to where the ghosting is only on the bottom. They like fold the image at the bottom. Well, they, they fold the design at the bottom to round off the bottom of the cup. That wasn't working for me. Um, it's taking me so long to cut this one little piece because I like to get as close to the image as possible without cutting the image. But um, that wasn't working for me. It was causing me ghosting like once I got to the top. Once I got... Once the image was on the cup, it was causing ghosting at the top and the bottom. So, I want to see what it looks like without all of that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I might sh might have shouldn't have done that because I do want to show you guys how I used to do it. But it's like whatever. So on this image that I'm currently doing, I actually created the background myself. Um, a lot of my other backgrounds are just back on like wallpapers that I find on Google. Um, if I like what the wallpaper look like and it's cohesive and the, Im the color is exactly what I need on the image that I'm trying to do. On the design that I'm trying to do for something, I will use that background. But for this particular design, I created the background myself. Um, it actually came from a cup that I did with water slide. Because um, I also do water slide cups as well sometimes. When I don't feel like doing sublimation, I will do a water slide. But with the water slide, you have to do the epoxy and all of that. So, I don't do that often. And because, too, with that, I was getting a lot of water bubbles. So, I kind of just haven't done one in a while. There's no reason. I just haven't done it. But, like I was saying, with this image, I the background, the actual color of the picture is all me. Like, I did all of this. You can see, like, there's, like, a little wavy pattern on the inside of each ink. And then it has the big ink. Yeah. I literally, like, this is literally, this, the background of this came from three different bars of, or four different bars of, like, color. And then I just went on Photoshop and just started switching stuff around. And this is how it came out. And I like it. My mama love it. Um, Yeah. So I think I'm going to like get back into that. Just creating stuff off the top of my head. And using it. But yeah, so now I'm going to take my, cut it out. 
as you can see. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around the top there. And you know what? Already I see that I'm going to like doing this better. As far as cutting off the uh, top and the bottom of the, of the image instead of trying to let it run off. So, as you can see now, whereas before it, it ran over, now it lines up dang near perfect. Well, it is perfect because you want to leave a little bit of the other side behind that. And I'll show you, some people don't do it. Some people line their seams up like exact. And that's where sometimes you can get that white ghosting line. Um, I know I used to get that a lot. And sometimes I still do with this technique that I'm about to show you guys. But it's it's the best. It's come when it comes to the seams, like this technique is the best. Once you get it perfected, it's about as good as it's gonna be. So I that's how I line up, make sure that my image is right, the right size for my cup, for my tumblers, and then I take it and I flip it. And I'm actually going to slide up and tilt you guys down and move my phone. Can you guys see? I hope so. I just want to make sure that it you know, lines up. Alright, and I am going to, I want to cut a little bit off, but just because I don't, when I get ready to tape it down, I don't want, like, the actual design to, like, the peace sign or the top of the B or any of that to be kind of hidden underneath anything. And I could tell what the way I was going to get ready to do it. The peace sign, some of the white on the peace sign was going to be, wasn't going to be on there. So I'm going to go ahead on and cut some of that off. I just did like a little strip. Very little strip. Like you can barely see it. You see that? That's the strip I did. Of the cut off. So yeah. Yep, and that makes it so much better. So much better. So, now, I like to make sure that the name part, this part of the, this part of this tumbler where her name is, I'm going to put that down on the tumbler. And then the other part, which is where the peace sign is, I'm going to put that on top. So, I'm going to tape it down like this. Now, here's where the technique comes in. I'm going to take my tape. It's time for me to get another roll, which is why I have this roll out because this one is gone. But I want to use the last little bit. And this is the uh, 20 millimeter heat tape. I'm going to take this and I am going to on the very end of the part with her name on the very end of the image if I can get my tape to stop rolling I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up so I can really take it off of the cup off the tumbler and put it down and I'm going to, can you guys see? Okay. Put it at the very end, line it up with the paper. Line the tape up with the paper. Make sure that you don't have anything running over. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. And I take it and I cut it. What I mean by running over is if you look, there's a very thin piece of tape that's hanging off. I'm going to cut that off because I don't want that on there. Because it could cause like white, white issues where the 
image won't be on that part of the cup. So I'm gonna cut that off. Get try to get all of that without cutting the image. Get all that tape off. If you can get it to line up exactly, that that'll be perfect. Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. With sublimation, you'll learn that it's really just trial and error and hope crossing your fingers and hoping that you ain't get no air in that image, between that image and that substrate, making sure that you time it correctly, making sure your pressure is on point. Like it's so much that goes into sublimating and I thought it, it was going to be so easy when I first started out, but to be honest, sublimation has been one of the biggest challenges that I faced when it comes to crafting. Thanks. But yeah. So I'm gonna cut all that off. And try to get all of it, like I stated. Get all that shit out of there. Get it to a piece of tape that folded over. It's gone. As you can see, there's no tape left. It's gone. So now <clears throat> I take the other side and I take my tape. Oh, I know I felt it. Okay. I know I felt any of the tape. So I'll take another piece of tape, you know, my sister takes to me, and I go down the other side. Now on this side, I'm going to want to leave some hanging off because this is the side that you're going to tape down. And you flatten it out with your finger. Make sure that it's flat. Leave no air, leave no space for, it, for air. You don't want no air in nothing you sublimate. You know, the air is not your friend in sublimation. <laughs> it's not your friend at all. You don't think you want to do with air when it comes to sublimation. Just breathe it. Just breathe it yourself. You breathe it. Don't let you put your. Don't let your tape breathe no air. Don't let your. Substrate, breathe no air. Don't let your image breathe no air. Nobody get air but your nostrils. You feel me? All right. So you tape that down and you leave tape at the top. All right. So now you take your tumbler. Make sure that it's on the right side. You don't want to do it upside down. Make sure no, no air bubbles, no air bubbles. Like I said, air is not your friend. So don't be up there kiki kicking kick, kick with it, being fake. You know air ain't your friend, and don't be friendly with it. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. Not while you're doing this tumble. All right. Got to tap it a little bit. Tap that thing. Have that, you know what I'm saying? And then make sure it's lined up. Make sure it's lined up good. Now. Make sure it gets stuck at the bottom. You have to watch out for that too, because it will get stuck. Tape will start taping. <laughs> Why are you trying to straighten your lines out? Tape will start taping. You have to make sure tape ain't taping. If tape taping, untape it. <laughs> if tape taping, untape it. Um. 
the hell over there. All right. Make sure you, yeah, you do want to make sure it's lined up perfect because the stuff's all looking out of whack. Lucky for me, this design ain't one of those crappy designs where it got lines and the lines need to add up. I try not to do those kind of tumblers because those things will drive you crazy if you let it. All right, so once you get it lined up, you're going to tape. Match the tape. Put the tape on the tape. Get all the air. Excuse me. Get all the air bubbles out. Ooh, got them air bubbles. And this is when tape can start taping. <laughs> this is where you can let your tape be taped. You feel me? So the air bubble at the bottom right there. You see that? Uh-uh. I don't want that. Take my fingernail. Lift that tape up. Lift that tape up. And get that tape off of there. And you see how my, my image has shifted a little bit. So I'm going to take my, my finger. Tap that thing. Tap that thing on up. Stuck down there again. Tape start taping. You could actually go ahead on and mend your tape right here. Kind of get it to push it on up. There you go. There you go. There you go. And make sure everything is all right. And fold that tape over right there. And you want to check here to make sure you see how I got that little bubble right there. You yeah, don't want that. I mean, got your, your image ain't on that tight. It ain't on that cup tight enough, so you got to come back. got to come back up. Come back up. Untape it. <laughs> Telling you, to make sure you never try the error. But you don't want no, yeah, it's not your friend. You don't want no, no nothing. So you pull it. Pull it. <coughs> pull it and you make sure you don't got no air in that thing. You don't want no air. Even if you have to take the tape off a little bit, you know, lift it on up. Just make sure you don't tear, you don't rip your image. You don't want no air. For real about that air, y'all. It'll get that how you get ghosted. <clears throat> you take your image on that right. And now, uh, you're gonna see it. Like, I'll be like, come here, girl. Be like a little old man at the store. Come here, girl. You don't want that. Take that thing down. Pin it down. Let that man be doing. Let that woman. Whoever you make it love to. Pin that thing down like that. Make sure you get all that air out of there. Right? Because you'll think that. Once you do the next step, that it'll get it all out of there, but it won't. If air, if you start out with air in your um between your image and your substrate, you start out with air between the air gonna get in there. And I'm gonna stop saying substrate and say tumbler because it's it's mostly with the tumbler with shirts, you can't stop that. But you do wanna make sure that you got enough pressure on your shirt to wear. Hey, no LCP right there. You know what I'm saying? So ten to the same thing. So I can't keep saying jump straight because you don't want no air nowhere. Honestly. With shirts, it's all about the pressure. With tumblers, it's all about to make sure no air in between the actual image and the tumbler. You want to get all that out of there. So that's just basically what I'm doing right now. Making sure that my image is tight enough around the tumbler. 
where there's no bubbles nowhere like you don't want no bubbles no bubbling well everything is tight as possible I'm talking plain but you still need you see how you now it's sealed off like ain't no ain't no bubbles nowhere is that a bubble if it is I'm gonna go in there oh no it ain't it ain't no bubble cause I like to make sure that ain't no bubble Tape it down. Ain't no bubbles in there. You see some? I don't see none. You see some down there? I don't see none. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. Ain't no way for you to get in there. Make sure though. Okay. Ain't no, no bubbles in there. Ain't no none of that. Alright. There we go, y'all. Alright, so now, after I do that, my trash on one side so that when I get ready to when I'm done I can just clean it up. Let me turn on my toaster because I did not turn it on earlier when I told y'all I was with my toaster. I will show you guys where I do have um I do have the other thermometers. I do have the oven thermometers in there. I have one in the front and one in the back. Just so you can make sure that your, that's how you make sure that your oven is the temperature that you want it to be. Um, you need your temperature to be no more than 400. So you need it between, I like to use between 350 and 400. And I put my tumblers in there for, um, I do one side for two minutes or one and a half minutes it really with my time i really go based on the smell because these are chemicals and you're gonna smell them so i do between no less than 130 it really depends on where my my temperature is because it does fluctuate because you're opening and closing the door when you open the door your air is getting out so it's not gonna be as hot so when it's on like three when it's on like 395 um I do my time for like a minute and 45 to two minutes um and then so i'm gonna say two minutes i do two minutes when it's on 395 when it's not as hot as it's supposed to be i do two minutes but if it's at 400 or if they like 401 or 4, 405 or something like that before 10 because it goes 400 10 20 30 40 50. so if it's between if it's between that four and that 14 i'm only doing like a minute and 30 in the third second but total time you do not want your tumbler in that machine more than six minutes um so i do like a minute like i'm saying a minute and 30 to two minutes i do that on one side and i flip it over i do that on another side and then um most times i flip it again to do that on a different side and sometimes i just do those two sides like I said, it really just depends on the smell. Like, you can smell when your tumbler is burning. It has, like, this... Once you do something, make sure you know what I'm talking about. It has it has this funny kind of smell to it. And, um, also, once you can see... Once you can see your image through... Once you can see the image of your tumbler through... All of the tape and stuff that you're gonna put on it. The tape and the laminate. Once you can see it through that, then it's ready ready once you can see it now you'll see what i'm talking about in just a second so i take my big tape and i go around my cup i go around my tumbler i'm actually going to leave it clean off of it a little bit and i'm going opposite of the way i'm going in the same direction as the image just to make it hopefully make it a little tighter sometimes it makes it tighter in in my brain only in my brain <laughs> but yeah 
this is what I do. And just take the tape around the circumference of the tumbler. And you want to press it as you turn it to make sure that it's as tight as can be. And you don't really want air in between your tape and your, and your design either. So I don't know if y'all can see where I'm going to take my scissors and I click. Go again. See my seam right there? Take my tape. Put it on top of that seam. Let it down. And I go pull it out a bit. And I go around again. You're not going to get a perfect. If you can, you good. But I try not to put it on top of each other, but sometimes I just say bump it and put it on top of each other. If you can get it to line up perfectly, do that. But I ain't gonna even hold you. I can't get it to line up perfect. So you don't want them to line up. You don't want them to overlap too much. There will be some overlapping though. But sometimes you just can't help to overlap. It doesn't harm harm it though. I did find that out. It does not harm the image if you overlap. And I just like to let my, my, my toaster oven just heat up. Um, I do, sometimes I go ahead and cut these, like make little slits so that I can, um, lay it down and I'll just go ahead and show y'all that so they won't keep sticking to my hand then you clip the tape so I'll take it and just make little slits in it so it can lay down a little bit better And you want to kind of like push up, push up, fold it, push up, fold it as you lay it down. <laughs> to try to like push any air that may be at the bottom of your tumbler, just push it out of there. Excuse me, no, bitch. Push it on out of there. Now imagine if I was using the smaller tape still, like I would still be at the bottom of this day go cook, try to wrap. But with the thicker tape.
tape. Get Force the Conference. Joe Roger Tumblr. And I don't understand why people that I was watching on YouTube and in Facebook groups and stuff, as they was rapping, they was using like the small Damascus tape. And I saw this old episode. I saw this old episode. I was like, why did you go use that? Like, that makes sense. So then just, I take my fingernail and I just seal it in. Just, just seal it in. I was like, why do I use the beer tape to go ahead on and wrap it up? You know what I'm saying? I think they be using it. Using the tape and uh, using the bigger tape. They just don't know what supposed to know that. But shit, I don't give a damn. Y'all know I'm not. Just here to help. You know what I'm saying? If y'all can see something that I'm doing wrong, let me know. If, if I helped you, let me know. Because I do like helping, helping when I can. If it's benefiting me. <laughs> if I don't even act like you, you help people to. I just like helping people. They kill me with that too. I just like helping people. I love helping people. That's why I started this, started making videos. And you started making videos to make money too. And you started making videos to make money. And you helping people while making some money. So it's a give and a take. You're doing both. So, I'm doing both. And, but I really do hope y'all take some out of this and, you know, learn something else. Weird, but don't make my hard work in vain. <laughs> Alright. So, I got that. I'm down to the last little piece. I'm not going to use this tape anymore to get mm -hmm. that last little bit. I'm going to use the little tape. Open a pack. And it was. This is the. This ass. Oops. <laughs> Missed it up. Okay. I'll take this. I'm a. My toaster is at two at four twenty, so I'm gonna open the door a little bit, let some of that air out, and close it back, and watch it's gonna go down. So now we're all taped up. Us all taped up. I really wanna shout it out. All taped up with you. I ain't gonna stay down. Well, it might. No, it ain't. All right. So now, after we taped up, we're gonna take my lamination paper. I need to order some more. Oh, definitely do. Order these from. Order these from Etsy. I'm gonna order some more. I'm gonna take my. I need, you know what? I need to order some more now because I only have like four more sheets. There you go. Let's take this. I'm gonna open it. Laminate sleeve. Take the tumbler. Put it in. Let me get my heat gun, y'all. I got my handy dandy heat gun. What I'm gonna do with this. I don't have it plugged up yet because I don't want to use the same socket that I have my toaster oven and well the same power that I have my toaster oven, my printers, and my computers on. So I'm actually gonna go into a different part of the house. I'm gonna turn this on and it's gonna sh shrink, shrink wrap the tumbler. I shrink wrap it. 
So give me a second and I'll be back to show what that looks like. All right, this is what it look like, so, looks like all shrink wrapped. You do wanna make sure that you have some handy dandy heat gloves. Got these in a two pack, come with one that has pink on the trim. Um, I got these for, these gloves from Amazon too. I'm in a two pack, I don't remember how much it was. But yeah, you wanna shrink wrap your tumbler. And then my tumbler is currently at between 400 and 410. I'm going to say 405 and I'm going to put it in and then yeah okay Google set timer for a minute and 45 seconds alright y'all let's wait this minute and 45 seconds out alright so this is what my toaster oven looks like and those are my two oven temperatures back there. And that is my tumbler. How I put my tumbler in. It's going to feel hot. Okay. But yeah, that's that. And then this is my Sawgrass 400 that I was telling you guys about. This is just a, um, a canvas that I want to sublimate on. I'm going to try that out. But yeah. So we're going to wait this minute and 45 seconds. Alright y'all, so I just took it out of the toaster and it is hot as heck, but the light is not really showing, but you can kind of see the design inside, well, you can kind of see the design, I ain't gonna say inside nothing, you can kind of see the design, um, the shrink wrap will pop sometimes, sometimes you get a big bubble, it's just different different stuff will happen and sometimes it'll get sticky if it starts to get sticky that means it's been in there too long usually but yeah so let's unwrap this son of a gun hold on y'all well y'all so i had a struggle trying to get that back into the holder without burning myself with these cups i did think to move the cup to get that back on so yeah let's see Did y'all just see my face you see? Cause I forgot that the paper was right. I'm like, oh shit. Usually I line this up with the seam so I can just try to pull it as much as possible, but I didn't do that today. I forgot to do that, y'all. This might be a struggle to get off. We don't see. toaster on while I take it off because I never know what's going to happen <laughs> and I might need it again so I just leave it on for a while oh this thing's hot I'm going to try because you want to do it while it's hot or while it's least warm you don't want to let it cool off so I'm going to cut it I don't like putting my scissors to the tumbler after this but yeah, it's gonna be that good. So, yeah. Uh oh, y'all. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, I'm definitely gonna be making it exact to the cup from now on because I definitely like how that looks. And, guys, here we go. So, that is my scene. This is by far the best cup I've done. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. By far the best. And here we go, y'all. Y'all ready? Yes, y'all. So, you do want to let it sit for a few hours because if you notice with the, with the sublimation, um with the tumblers once it sits for a little while like the colors they just get more vibrant or something i don't know how to explain it but that's definitely what happens um 
I do see where I did leave it in just a little bit too long um, because it's, it gives like a little brownish like look not if you leave it too too long it do it time you can see the brown like oh my gosh but if you have a lighter color like orange or yellow when you start to leave it a little too long it'll get like this like dusty kind of look to it I don't know how to explain it but yeah it gets like a brownish tint if you know then you know um as you do it more you'll see what I'm talking about you'll be like oh that's what she's saying I don't know how to explain it but yeah so I could I could tell for myself that it might have been like a couple seconds too long maybe like three three to four seconds too long that comes with trial and error again but I am in love with this tumbler oh my gosh I can't wait until it just the heat and stuff dies off of it and it just settles in um I am going to do a uh, um, put it on my turner and do a video to show you guys. I'm probably gonna put that in the clip somewhere. Once I do that, I'm taking these gloves off because they are tight. Put those up. Go ahead and put my stuff up that I can get to. And let me get the bottom of the tumbler, the gasket. I think it's what it's called. My last two of these for this pack. There's another pack in that box of tumblers, so I'm not even worried about those. You flip it on the bottom and you put it down there. Wow. And I'm not gonna package it on camera. I'll show you guys what uh, yeah, I gotta show y'all. I'm just gonna put it back in the bag, put it back in the box. Um with the I do I don't have any right now that's in the correct color. Um, this is not the correct color. I ran out of ink. I do have to order some more ink for my printer. But these are my tumbler care. Well, my this is the drinkware. This is for like other tumblers, but I do have one specific to tumblers. But it's basically the same information. Um, and you guys can't read it, but I do give tumbler care cards, and it does say that your a uh, tumbler or drink where it's handmade with love and care and attention to detail while we do strive for perfection all handmade items may contain small imperfections so yeah put that back up there but i am so happy that this tumbler came out so so good um but yeah so uh thank you guys for watching i do appreciate each and every one of you i hope that you like i said at the beginning can take something from this video and learn 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 and increase your business and just do great with it i hope you found something um i hope you were entertained thoroughly and i hope you stay to the end of the video like i said i am going to show the actual clip of the actual cup on the turner so you can get a full view and yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to be you. Because if you can't be you, how you going to be somebody else? And who going to let you be them if you can't be you? You get me? So yeah, y'all have a good one. Deuces.